Right, okay. Right, good morning everybody. My name's Derek Baird. Um, as you might know, I'm the owner and creator of Chest in the Face Clothing. And I was recently diagnosed with... Uh, I need to get this right because I keep saying it wrong. Squama cell carcinoma, skin cancer in my nose. Um, not so long ago, about eight weeks ago. I'm going to take his glasses off. Um, and I've been meaning to do a post video, post surgery video vlog for a couple of weeks now, but I've uh, just not managed to get around to it. So I've got some notes. I'm just going to go on the fly, freestyle on it. Um, I, I just do it this morning. <laughs> okay, so I, I've now been out of hospital for uh, approximately eight weeks. Uh, or four or five weeks, I was taken into hospital for major surgery uh, roughly about seven to eight weeks ago after a quick diagnosis, um, after having some pains in my nose approximately this, this time last year, to be fair. I got a kind of odd feeling at the tip of my nose. Uh, so bear with me here, I might go off on a little tangent, uh, I've got some notes beside me but I just wanted to give everybody a little update uh, post-surgery as everybody's been asking me how I'm getting on and uh, I've actually been kind of overwhelmed with the kind of support and love through social media, family, wh whatever else. And so I, I think I'm kind of more comfortable just kind of talking about it uh, without kind of premeditating any plans or what I'm going to kind of say or whatever else. Anyway. Overall, for those that you know me, I'm generally quite a positive guy, so uh, I'm now lined up for chemotherapy uh, this Monday uh, after having some surgery on my nose here. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, I have lost my nose here, and this is a skin graft. This is part of my th left thigh. We have to take some skin off and some muscle tissue to insert underneath the skin graft here, uh, which I was aware of through the uh, pre-op kind of consultations uh, at the Queen Elizabeth NHS Hospital, who have been great. So I had a full understanding that the nose would go uh, potentially at the pre-surgery consultations. They said my right eye was most definitely going to go um, due to the fact that the tumour, the squamous cell carcinoma, I hope I'm saying that right, carcinoma, carcinoma surgery, uh, carcinoma cancer was actually inside my face at the bridge of my nose. Uh, so there was a large tumour growing in here. Uh, if you reverse that round if you're on the camera. So that is the right hand side of my face, which had been growing slowly uh, for about seven months, which kind of went in conjunction with my timeline, with the kind of small pain that I had. Uh, so anyway, there's a few positives out of the whole negative and traumatic situation that, as you can see, I've got my glasses off now, but they managed to save my eye. I've lost my nose, and they've, oh, they've had to cut into the front or oh, kind of temple area of my skull or forehead here. So from here to here, it's all gone, and that is now some of my uh, left eye muscle tissue inside there. They did save tip of my nose here. So all going well, I'm trying to keep this quick, um, that they will be able to do post chemotherapy and radiotherapy which starts next week. They will be able to rebuild and give me some Hollywood style nose. All going well next year. Um, so that's phase one is now complete. I've stayed positive and healthy all the way through. And to be perfectly honest with you, I feel kind of reborn to an extent. Um, Post surgery, because I was smoking quite a lot before surgery. I picked up some bad habits again after having kind of. I've had a bad year. I'm not going to go into that. But anyway, I'm feeling healthy, feeling fit, and uh, still staying my positive self all the way through the consultations. I said, do what you need to do, guys. Try and get this cancer out of my face. You're not taking my heart or my soul out. So, whatever, nose, eyes. Just try and get the cancer out. So I was kind of prepared for the worst and hoping for the best, uh, to be perfectly honest. So delighted that I can still see and speak to you and uh, make some vlogs like this going forward. And this is really just to, I don't know, uh, let you know about my journey and if anybody else is kind of going through the same or very similar or has went through this experience as well, please share it with me. I'm going to put this up on my YouTube. 
I'm on Facebook, Instagram now through my clothing brand, as some of you might be aware, uh, which is all very new and fresh. Um, but anyway, I'll keep it short, I'll keep it sweet. That's a quick breakdown of where I've been, where I'm going. It's uh, chemotherapy on Monday at the Beatson Hotel in Glasgow. So that starts this coming Monday, which is the 3rd of October, 2022. Um, and then I have daily radiotherapy on the back of the chemo, uh, and that is for seven weeks. So for a seven week period, I'll have three chemo sessions, then approximately seven to eight weeks recovery, all going well, which takes me right up to December 2022 and into the new year 2023. So all going well, this will all get rebuilt into the new year. Uh, anyway, I'm taking it one day at a time. That's way, way down the line of the second phase of this whole process. So um, the past eight weeks and today I wake up every day and just be thankful that I've still got my health and uh, my vision and the deposit of things that have all came out of this uh, traumatic experience because it all happened very, very quickly after the diagnosis, which was, oh, I can't remember the exact date, it's what kind of di diagnosed with the cancer into July. Um, and that's after being, I was in Ibiza. In May, uh, Transmit concert in June, Jerry Cinema. So I had a few things lined up this year to actually try and enjoy ourselves with my family. But yeah, I was feeling well all the way through that process. And um, I was getting some intermittent nose bleeding before May, which uh, kind of allowed me to potentially having cancer. Uh, but it wasn't formally diagnosed until I came back into the kind of start of July once I went through my private medical care which was a great benefit through my work. So if anybody doesn't have it, uh, it was definitely very beneficial for me in terms of speeding up the whole process after seeing my uh, normal NHS GP, uh, which obviously wasn't picked up or diagnosed at that specific point until I went through private medical health care and I was at the Northfield Hospital in Glasgow, who were all great. So they found out pretty quickly that it was cancer within my face um, a very delicate area, as you can imagine, near the brain, near the eyes. So the radiotherapy is going to be in and around these areas, which I do still have some cancerous cells under my left eye, in the temple here. And so they're really going to focus on the radiotherapy and the intravenous chemotherapy, which starts on Monday. So that's it in a kind of nutshell. I'm doing the best I possibly can. I've been doing some light training. I've been eating well. I'll never smoke for the rest of my life. And um, I will make another vlog through the process to share my journey. So if anybody does watch this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, which might be down here. Uh, share the love. And um, if my story helps anybody else along their journey, then great. And I'm happy to share my journey with everybody as well. So thank you. If you tune out, great. And please spread the word. Uh, that I'm doing okay otherwise. And uh, yeah, keep chasing the phase of life. <laughs> Hit my brand up if you, you want a t-shirt too. And um, yeah, stay happy, stay positive. And love you all that have given me all the love and support so far. Thank you. Bye.